What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to continue along the Pens for Years series or Years with Pens series, uh, where I talk about pens uh, that I've had for years and what I like about them, what I don't like about them, uh, and you know, just general general information that I think is relevant at the time. <laughs> Um, I have always done reviews of these pens already, so if you want to see um, like super detailed reviews, do check out my channel. Um, but this is pretty much something that uh, was highly requested and I genuinely have a good time. Uh, I'm going to be talking about this model in particular, but I do have some others. Um, I've actually had way more <laughs> in the past. I think I at one point had like Eight, nine, eight or nine of them, um, but that was just too many. And so I pared it down to these three. These three I adore. Um, these ones happen to be like limited edition ones, the 365 models. Um, this one is from many years ago now, has the older long tines, uh, which is pretty cool. And is in my favorite brown. This one, I want to say was 2017 or 2018, something something around there. And this one has a stub nib. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but this was the very first Optima that I ever had. Uh, and I ordered it from Nibsmith, uh, Dan Smith from Nibsmith. <clears throat> excuse me and it was the first nib that I ever had uh, tuned by somebody um, which I think is part of what gives it uh, a special feeling to me um, and I mean other than the fact that I, I loved it and it was a very expensive purchase uh, at the time and still um, but the reason it kind of happened by accident so it says medium on the feed which is where Aurora shows what their nib sizes are. But it's actually a medium fine because I ordered a fine um, and there was a mix up with inventory. So Dan Smith reached out to me and said, hey, I don't have a fine, but I can give you a medium and grind it down to a fine for free since that was like his mistake essentially inventory wise. And I said, you know what? Let's take advantage of that and let's actually do a medium fine. So he did, he ground it down to a medium fine for me and I asked him to make it super duper duper wet. Um, and I was very pleased with it. And to this day, I still am pleased with it and I still love the pen itself. It has Aurora's um, piston fill with their little mechanism in here that basically allows you to use all of the ink uh, right to the last drop because when you push that plunger down, uh, it forces all of the ink up and then over this portion of the feed, that little black portion of the feed in there, uh, so that all of the ink can be utilized, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I've never really run into that situation, but in a pinch, I'm sure it works. Uh, I love the way that this fits in my hand. It's a very light pen, um, but I love the way that it fits. You can post it, um, but as I always say in every one of my videos, I don't. Um, but you can certainly, it is their proprietary Aurora Lloyd is what they call it. Uh, it's basically resin, um, with like, I think teeny tiny bits of celluloid, uh, which is why they call it Aurora Lloyd, but I don't know officially. Uh, it has their little Aurora stamp here. I like the fact that it's on the back and it's not like hard to see, but you've really got to like look for it in order to be able to see it. Um, so I like that quite a bit. I love the overall like chubby design <laughs> of the pen itself. I like flat tops more than cigar shape pens, but if you don't, uh, if you prefer the, the cigar shape pens, they do make an Aurora 88, which essentially is the same thing. It's just has the cigar shape and not the flat top because there's definitely nothing too special on either side, um, of of that it's just a black nib <laughs> knob whatever you want to call it uh it has a pretty classic aurora clip that's fairly stiff but definitely does the job i love their little aurora deco bands here it's chunky it's beefy and i adore it i love the little like greek design on it even though it's an italian pen 
It does taper down slightly um, and has a silver ring that separates the piston knob, twist top. It has a gold nib, 14 karat. It's pretty stiff uh, with a red ebonite feed. You can uh, take out the nib and feed unit from the pen body itself, which makes it so much easier to clean. I do have a video of that if you want to check that out. Uh, I do have a video of how to clean this bad boy. So I'm gonna ink this bad boy up. I'm gonna ink it up with Mont Blanc uh, Heritage Spider Metamorphosis Web Gray in this little guy here. And then we're gonna do some writing samples. All right, so the typical sentence, nothing uh, uh, nothing too, too out of the ordinary for that one. If I can get my camera to focus. I really like this ink, it's got some nice shading. Uh, and because this pen is super wet, you can definitely take advantage of all of the nice shading. Wow, my camera is really freaking out. What is going on? All right, maybe if I put the nib there, it can focus on the nib. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, so like I said, I had this pen made to be super, super wet, and you can just see all the gloriousness. It is a medium fine, and like I said, it's, all right, we're gonna have to pick up where we left off because my camera stopped recording. <laughs> Uh, which is, uh, you know, never never what you want, but we are going to roll with it anyways. Uh, so yeah, like I said, it's, it's fairly stiff, but it's super, super smooth. There is a little bit of feedback. Um, I will say Aurora nibs tend to have more feedback than others, uh, but because I had this tuned, um, I asked for a little bit of that to be taken away. Um, so you can still feel that there's definitely pen on paper, uh, but it is nice and smooth. This is also Tomoe River paper, so it's like the best of the best. Uh, for reverse, you're getting nothing right now. I have been able to with this pen before. Um, this is a fairly light ink, but yeah, it's not like, you know, something you can depend on. Um, like I said, it's, it's fairly stiff. Almost all of Aurora's nibs are but it is solid and it is beautiful. Um, I've never had any hard starts. I've never had any skipping. I've never had any, basically I've never had any problem with this pen ever. Um, and I just, every time I use it, I fall in love with it all over again. Typically I put a red ink into this pen because I mean, it just screams for it. And I didn't this time. I really like Mont Blanc uh, William Shakespeare in here, but I just felt like going with something completely different today. So I did. Uh, do I recommend this pen? Heck yes, I do. Like, absolutely. Now it is an investment. It is not cheap um, and it continues to get more and more expensive as the years go on, but I mean, what doesn't these days, especially with all the inflation and whatnot, but that does not negate from the beauty of this pen and the general model, because like I said, I do have others. Um, so I really like it. I hope you guys like it too. Have you ever used uh, an Aurora Optima before? What are your thoughts, loves, concerns, all of the above? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you like this video, do hit the like button. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional rando on Tuesday. If you want to be an absolute stellar human and help support me and what I do here, do check out the description below for my Patreon link. Um, we're having a good time over there. I am hosting a giveaway this month, um, but don't join just for that. Join because you genuinely enjoy my content and you want to support me. All right, if you're still watching this far in, you are the reason I make these videos. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye. 
Well, all right, all right, all right. Today it is time to say thank you to all of my Patreons. I am so grateful for you. Today is, is July 3rd, so if you do not see or hear your name, uh, just be patient. I update it as soon as I can. So for our ultimate human, we got Daniel Roddy. And then for my VIPs, we have Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Weile Chang, Brian Law, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcourt, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bill Pemberton, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Subi One Kenobi, Bianca Andrews, and Digital Tent Tech. And lastly, but not least, McCall Bennett Lawrence. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone, no matter the tier you're in, uh, whether it's bottom or top, does not matter. You all make what I do here possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you.